here I was, on the top of Summerhouse Hill, overlooking the city of Yeovil. My body felt weary after those three months since Jan the CLBT had stolen Bibles, blown up the library and eventually harmed Chris. Since then everything had changed. Jan had caused havoc in parts of the city. Buildings were being attacked, more Bibles stolen, the city out of hand. And somehow I wondered what would have happened if I hadn't found this time-traveling bow tie? Would I be living just a relaxing detective life in 1847? But what was I thinking about? I had to protect my friends. The urban warriors. Vera and her boys. Chris and Lighthearted. There was no turn. Time, Pabs. The others are waiting for us. Okay, let's go. exactly the same as the old one. Yes, luckily Vera had already planned the design for the new VHS by the time Jan blew up the old one with that disguised helicopter. But we ought to be more cautious now considering what he's done. Oh, about 3.15pm. They should be here, no? Good to see you safe and sound. These are dangerous times. May I introduce to you Dr. Pavey. Good morning, Mr. Pavey! You all know why we have gathered here today. The city isn't safe anymore. The craft little Bible thief, who we know has revealed himself to be young, is trying to shake up Yeovil in its moral foundations. He has stolen hundreds of Bibles and attacked at several central places like the library. The aim will be to take down the CLBT whilst it is most vulnerable during an attack. We have been given a clue that Young's next objective will be the perpetual church in the east end of Yeovil. But before you go, perhaps you have to pass one final test. I'm ready. Yes, you think you are, but I think that you think that I think you're not. First, you need to become one of my boys and master of the most unsolvable problems of all time rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors! Aww, best of three! I'll be your contact while Vera is moving in the background to pursue the success of our mission. Here, take this adorable intercom. Okay. Oh, Pebs. Uh, yes. Take this Bible, it will guide you away in the dark times. Thank you. Oh, and remind me, there's something I need to tell you about your bow tie. But it's okay, it can wait for the moment. Um, you need to get to Birchfield Church. El Hardy is outside, he'll take you. All right, I'm off. And thank you too, Chris. I will make sure that Jan gets caught and I will make sure that someone will change his mind. Take care. Take care, my friend. May our God be with you. Thank you. Yeah. 
Yes. Um. So, how was your day? <laughs> yes. I went to the shop and uh, I tried to get a new taco shell, but it was all out. Okay. I swallowed a marble, but they all gone now. In those days, I lived a happy life. I ran from field to field, and I dealt the bubbles. Now, I'm sad. Mm, sad times. Are we nearly there? I don't know. I need the toilet. I should not have had all that chili. Ah, there we are. Finally arrived. Here we are. Something is wrong about this place. There's something wrong about this building. There must be something wrong. I can feel it. Holly, you should smell if you find any food. There must be something. Actually, only Vera knows the secrets to be able to defuse that kind of bomb. Right. But hurry, who knows when the bomb will go off? He tells us that only Vera can defuse the bomb. Who? So, we have to get out of here before they explode and get back to Vera. Let's we go. need Vera! Let's go! Let's go! No! No! Arriba! 